you know, again, Kevin got really close with Jason Williams and Murphy, and if he could have got that, I think he could have turned the corner. I think each kid's different. You know, Rutgers got uh, Mac from St. Anthony's, and then they just couldn't follow up with Kyle Anderson. I don't know how close they were. But those kids are also, it's hard because those kids are also being recruited when you talk about that, the elite kids from Duke, from UCLA, from North Carolina, schools that have such tradition, such fan base, you know, that it's hard to, it's close for a kid. Like Dexter Strickland grew up loving North Carolina Michael Jordan. Mm -hmm. So it was like hard even if we wanted to try to push him to Rutgers and tell him Rutgers is a better fit. You know, they just grew up so Michael Jordan, North Carolina, or Coach Krzyzewski, Duke. So to kick at that, the elite, elite level, the Kentucky level, it's hard to, you know, to get over that hump with the kid without like a, a great relationship. Like Ben Simmons from our school is going to LSU, but legitimately his godfather who played with his dad in Australia is the assistant at LSU and he was the assistant with the coach at LSU at a college before that. So when he was a kid, so it wasn't like planned. You know, so there was, otherwise LSU doesn't get him. Otherwise he's at, you know, Kentucky. You know, so it's to get the it's hard to get the you know, the Miles Mac is a really good player, but a little undersized. He's a kid that Duke wasn't after. Kentucky's not after, but he's a really good player. So it's the it's the hope to get two or three of those guys, get some wins, and to get that one guy to commit. You know, so I don't know if it's an easy answer. You know, um, what do you what do you think of the facilities at Rutgers? I, I don't know. I always loved the basketball facility. Uh, uh, you know, I don't know. I'm not in the athletic world enough when you compare it to other Big Ten schools. Um, you know, I know it is important to keep up with the competition. I know it's a tough line academically, athletically sometimes. I can't believe we're building a new locker room or we're building a new weight facility. But the reality of it is, if I've seen kids go into, I was just in Creighton doing a speech, and their weight room is out of the world. Their facilities are out of the world, like Creighton, and it's just basketball, there's no football. So it's, you know, they're going to sustain being a top 50, 60 school because even though they're in the Big East and they're not in one of the Power Five conferences now, they have great facilities. It's basketball only. Um, you have to keep, if, if you want to be in that world, you know, you're going to have to keep up with the facilities because that's going to impress some kids. People are going to sell the weight room. People are going to sell the cafeteria. You know, we, we, we're Kentucky and we have our dorm with 17 managers and 16 players. You know, it's hard to compete with that. 